welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking through how to draw a rose. So this is something I get asked about quite a lot. Um, it seems to be one flower, when it comes to drawing flowers, that puts people off. They're worried about drawing roses because they say they're difficult. But there's just one or two little things to really look at and it becomes much more easy. So first of all, this is very distinctive, the way that they're curled up in the centre and the way that the petals go around each other. The other thing that's very distinctive is the way that they curl over on themselves. So if you get this shape in here, I'll just get my pencil, that's very distinctive to the rose, the way it curls over. And then also these little leaves at the bottom, or oh, it's not the leaves, it's what was forming the bud before it opened up. So I've got this picture off Pixabay and I just thought it was a nice clear one to show because it shows both the curls of the petals but also this centre part which is very distinctive. But you can get lots more pictures off there, you could get some of some buds, you can get some facing into them so that you're looking right into the petals where they all overlap and try doing some at a few different angles. Now I'm going to do this in ink. And if I make a mistake, well, never mind, but you'll probably want to do it in pencil. And if you're doing it in pencil, the way I would start to begin with is to just do a big oval shape for that overall shape of the rose onto your paper so that you've got somewhere to fit the whole thing into. So begin by getting that big shape down and then go on with the detail. Because I'm doing it with pen, I'm not going to bother putting any pencil guidelines down. I'm just going to start drawing it. And I'm going to start in the centre here with this very distinct shape. And I will put the link to this photograph down below in the description as well. Sorry, I'm just trying to prop it up there. So if you look at this shape, the if you think about what's... Sorry, I'll just get it back. What's underneath in here is very much like a little bulb shape. And you'll know when you get hold of a rose and you get hold of the bottom of it, it's quite tight because around here is where all the petals are coming in to meet the centre. And if that feels very soft and squishy when you're buying them, you know that it's past its best and those petals are soon going to be falling. So let's just start by getting that shape in there. So it's coming out. And it's got a tiny lip on it. If we just take that line right to the top first of all, and then we can put this little curl here where it's curling around. And then we'll look above that. We've got another petal going in this direction. And another little one, which is the last one you can see, going in that direction. And then we've got the ones behind. So this one curls around and then down. And then we've got another one curling around here. And then the one that we began with comes down here and then we see the back side of it as well and that goes down and out so this shape of the bulb is starting to form there with that and you can't see the rest of it then we've got one coming up from around here all the way around and then this is another very distinctive shape the way it dips in and out and around again down past that line there. So that's basically that shape there that we've put in. Dips in there and around. And this where it's curling over, some of that's going to have to be done with your shading later on. Or with some colour if you want to put some colour on top of that. So we'll now look at this one that comes across here. And we'll put that very distinct line in there. I've actually, sorry, I've missed this one, haven't I? We need to do this one as well. So that comes out more or less in line with this one. Up. Again, we've got that little dip. And then we can take these two to disappear into the back of that. So don't worry when you're doing it about every single petal being in the right place because it's getting the shape of the rose that's the main thing and looking for these characteristic signs that it is a rose and not another flower. 
Again, we've got that little dip there going down, around and over. And then another one coming out here and got that little point on the end of the petal where it's bending over again, another distinctive characteristic. Up, we'll do this one from this side, comes out about here. And then we've got that curly edge on it which you often get on these outside petals. And don't forget some might have little nicks out. So here underneath you can actually see that line where it's going down to the base as well. And again very characteristically that's going over, got a little bit of a nick there, down and round and that's a piece that's curling over so we're seeing both sides of that. And some of that in there is shadow actually. We've got another little bit of a petal in there. It's not always easy to see from a photograph because obviously some of this is very dark where it's in shade. And this goes up to there. Cross. Obviously because I'm doing it in ink, if I get these slightly in the wrong position I'm not going to have to worry about it. If you're doing it in pencil you can alter them if you really want to but like I say don't worry too much about individual petals being exactly in the right place. Just think about the overall feeling of it being a rose as opposed to another flower. Okay so that's all the petals in. We actually see the underside of this very very dark shadow there I'll just show you what I mean there that's the underside of the whole thing and if you follow that line around and follow this line around here it actually comes across here so that's that line going through to that line and then we need to look at these little distinctive shapes of the these little leaf things whatever you want to call them so one there one across here and you usually have three or four I think probably four I would imagine there's probably one that we can't see out of the way there and that one's got a bit of a broken end on it and then you get these other little ones I don't know if you can just see that peeping behind which are much finer and then the stem and when you're putting the stem on any flower start and think about where it's joining so it's joining under here so keep that line going through although you're not drawing it think about where it's joining so it looks more realistic okay and that's everything you need for the actual drawing of the line of the rose now you could obviously put your sh all your shadows in with your pen if you wanted or, you or your pencil or you could do it with colour I think I might go ahead and put a few lines of shadow in with my pen but I'll do that in a moment and put some music to it and then I'll perhaps put a little bit of colour on it but for the drawing that's all I really wanted to talk about was those few things to look out for this very distinctive bulb like shape of the whole thing the way it's fitting into the bottom so even when the, pe the petals are open if you imagine that base there knowing where these leaves come off knowing that there's a base there that all the petals are attached to these shapes of the petals curling outwards the very distinctive edges of the petals where you get these little points and these little nicks out and then this in the centre where it's all curling in over each other so those are a few things to look out for when you're drawing a rose but if you go and get this picture and have a go at it that's that's great but also have a look at some other pictures on Pixabay because there's some absolutely beautiful ones and there's some beautiful colours try a few from the top looking into the rose try some buds and then when you do a full bunch of them which you can do from your imagination you don't need a full bunch of flowers in front of you just have a few pictures of different roses in different directions but make sh make some of them smaller make some of them facing the other way so they look a lot more natural you've not got um, them all lined up like soldiers so I'll go ahead now and carry on with this let me know how you get on with your rose drawing in the comments below I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful I'll be back again soon with another tutorial or demonstration thanks for watching and bye for now